What's up everyone? This is Josh from Fresh Start Customs. Um, today we're going to be doing some chocolate laser engraving. This time I got two different types of chocolate. I got a Reese's cup and I know everybody wanted the chocolate bar. I could only find a Dollar General bar that had like grooves on the top. So we're going to try the back side. Hopefully that's flat and then we'll go from there. Um, so we're going to start off with the Reese's cup first. Uh, I believe that would have an actual thinner layer um, of chocolate so we're gonna start off pretty low uh, I think I'm gonna try like two maybe three power probably two just to start off just to see how it goes and as you can tell I've got two different um, engravings here one's gonna be for the chocolate bar that's this top one and one's gonna be for the Reese's cup is this smiley face here so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna grab this smiley face and we're gonna shrink it down onto this Reese's cup here and just to make sure that's kind of centered I'm gonna shrink it down just a little bit to give it some extra space just in case this engraver decides to be a little off center there we go so now that we got that pretty much centered there we're gonna go ahead and do our settings um, and of course since it's not um, proof grade material we're gonna have to do our own uncertified material again. This one I already measured is 0 0.428 inches. So we're going to submit that. And this time around I didn't even have to do that um, uh, tin foil trick where you wrap it around because this one had a wrapper pre on, on the item so I just measured it with the wrapper on and we went from there. And then I just put two layers of tin foil underneath to make up for the wrapper. So that's how I came up with that. Um, so I'm just realigning this just to make sure it looks center. Looks pretty center to me. So we'll kind of go back out here. Now another thing, um, just wanted to point this out is um, since I have two designs on here, I'm going to have to turn one on ignore for now since we're not going to use this one. And then this one is the one that we're going to engrave so I'm going to go down to manual here and we're going to leave it on convert to dots because it's chocolate I want it to go higher speeds that usually engraves faster I'm going to try two power just to see what it does and hopefully it looks cool if it doesn't then we'll go onto the chocolate bar and then we'll bump that up to like five or so see what that does next so hopefully this turns out cool um, I only got one of these to test on each and we'll go from there um, also one other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and test the pause feature that just came out I know a lot of people may have got that depending if I actually have the update we'll see if we if I actually got the update or not um, but if I do have the update I'll test out the Paul feet uh, the pause feature um, if I don't then we'll just do it normal here so let's go ahead and test it out with these settings and we'll see what it does and we'll go from there Yep, it looks like I do have the update, as you can see on this side. We no longer have that preview. I do like the preview, I must say, but this is how the update's going to be, and we'll see how well it works, and we'll go from there. And uh, it does look like it does prepare the design faster, so I just want to point that out, too. So we got about 3 minutes and 11 seconds for this engrave. Um, I'll go ahead and flip to the other camera and show you guys what this looks like. As you guys can see, um, that barely engraved. It gives it a cool translucent effect. Um, it's really hard to see on camera again, but let me see if I can move the camera here and zoom in a little bit. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. But uh, we're going to go over this again um, just to see if I can get a little bit darker of an engraving that'll show up better on camera while it engraves. And then we'll go from there. Um, so let me get my camera back in place here. And I'm going to go over it one more time with the exact same settings, just essentially two passes just to see what happens. 
So let's go ahead and try that one more time here. Alright guys, you can see it a little bit better on camera. It is better in person. Um, the reason why there's like a, a hazy color in the center is probably because it's really cold outside mixed with the, the heat from the beam. So that's probably why that haze is right in the middle of the face there. Let me see if I can zoom in. Still gives that translucent effect there. I'll take an actual photo of both this and the uh, chocolate bar at the end of the video, um, just like I did with the M&M. And then uh, that way you guys can see a better image. Hopefully it captures better on camera. So I'm going to swap this out for the chocolate bar quick. There we go. So let's go ahead and try this chocolate bar out now. So let's flip back over and uh, we'll do the actual settings here on the screen again. Make sure the other camera stops moving around. Okay. So now that we're on the... the back on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and pull that smiley face off and back out of the custom settings and put it on ignore. That way we're not engraving the smiley face. And we're going to do this uh, FSC logo with some like uh, rose petals just to see how detailed we can get it. Looks like I might have to rotate it just a little bit there. There we go. I'm going to shrink it just a little bit more just to be safe because as some of you may know the alignment is going to be off on some machines. Um, this one seems to be pretty accurate so far but I've only done everything dead center underneath the the camera so it could be way off if I move. Let's say we do this smiley face and I engrave way up here. That smiley face could engrave like way down here and still be up here on the screen. So just a heads up on that. Um, so this time, let's go ahead and set the engrave for this one. And since two power is really light, and this type of chocolate is harder, I'm going to actually bump it up to, let's say, I don't know. Let's try eight power this time. We're going to essentially double what that other one was, because that was two passes at two power, so it would have been four power total. But this could just completely melt it and doing several passes at a lower power might be more um, likely to engrave better but we're gonna try it just to see what it does and show you guys what it does here um, and then remember I had to change the settings height here so this one's 0292 and see I almost forgot about that so that's important that you change your height every time otherwise this engrave is going to be way off when you go to print and I could have potentially been engraving on this aluminum foil here which is something that I don't want to do so let's go ahead and try this one out and we'll see how this one looks and we'll go from there um, and this one I'm gonna try that pause feature uh, kinda shortly after we start just to see what that one does I know what that I said it would I would try that. I forgot to try it on the last one here. So let's try it on this one and we'll see what it turns out to be. Alright you guys, uh, so I went ahead and hit the pause button. So it looks like it doesn't actually shut the fans off or anything. So hopefully you can hear me here. So we're going to try and hit the play button again. I just wanted to show you guys the pause feature. All I did was hit the button itself. And then I'm going to hit the button again to see if it picks up right where it left off. And we'll go from there. Alright guys, as you can see, um shows up pretty light still I know this is a harder type of chocolate so I'm actually gonna run this again with more power this time um, but it does look better in person than on camera again which I know I can't get a real clear shot this time of what this looks like but it looks cool as a ghosted effect I know you can kinda see that on camera um, but I kinda wanted a darker uh, or a deeper engrave and I know it's probably because I'm I'm leaving it on convert to dots but 
I like to keep it on convert to dots because I don't want a big soupy mess. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this up to 15 power and we're going to just go right on top of the 8 power that we already did. Uh, with it being a cold day I would assume that it's already hardened over again um, with the cold air coming back through. So I'm going to just try 15 power over the 8 power. We'll see what it does. Hopefully it engraves a little bit deeper, more visible. If not, um, we'll just end the video there because that's how chocolate's going to be. Um, but it still looks really cool with the ghosted effect. And we'll go from there. So let's go ahead and print this one off. And if you didn't notice there, um, or if you couldn't hear me, I did pause it right after it did this C down here. Um, so I tried that pause. I was hoping that it was going to be quiet so I could actually talk to you. Um, and then uh, actually so you guys could hear me but the fan kept running full power so if you actually had to take a phone call when you pause it that's not gonna work because you're still gonna be just as loud as when it's going there so the pause is really if you have to walk out of the room use the restroom go down the street for something and then come back and then unpause it that's what that's for I wouldn't say that's gonna be for taking a phone call unless you go in another room shut the doors and then take the phone call because you wouldn't be able to do it in the same room so we learned that um, and then the new sidebar is kind of interesting um, I don't really see it too much speed increase without the preview I'd kind of like the preview back for the couple seconds that you do get honestly um, it seems like they put this in just to put more warnings about um, what to do or what not to do because each step it gives you a different warning um, I would rather have a preview or if they want to keep this put like a preview down in this little smaller section here just a small preview um, or have an option to turn the preview on and off that's just my preference let me know what you guys would think if you would like the preview more than this sidebar um, but like I said that's just my preference so we're gonna go ahead and try this 15 power out see what it does and we'll go from there Alright, there you guys go. This is the darker, or deeper engrave, I should say. Um, it did come out a little bit darker. You can kind of see it better on the camera. It's still kind of hard to see on the camera, so I will take a photo of both the chocolate bar and the Reese's Cup at the end of the video. Um, hopefully I can capture that on camera better. Um, what's interesting about the deeper engrave, this one's actually a little bit harder to see in person than the lighter engrave. Just from this type of lighting so I'll try the other type of lighting and go from there um, but it definitely looks cool the closer you look at it you can see way more detail and the deeper engrave than you could on that really light engrave so I'll leave you guys be the judge of uh, which one you like better the lighter or the darker one the lighter one is 8 power 1000 speed um, darker one is 15 power 1000 speed and I know since we went over top of the other one that could affect it a little bit but I don't think so in this situation since uh, more than likely it would have hardened already. But uh, that you can be the judge of that as well. Um, the Reese's Cups, uh, you could probably even do one more pass on the Reese's Cup at 2 power. Um, but it looks cool at 4 power too. So I'll get a photo of both of these. Um, and then I'll add them right at the end of the video here. Let me know if you guys like this these um, food videos. And we'll continue doing them. Otherwise, if you guys are tired of them, um, then I can use this machine for a different type of material. Just trying to help you guys out that actually use this for food. Um, if you don't own a laser engraver or Glowforge, obviously um, use the link below. Save up to $500 off of a Glowforge. And um, it was great talking with you guys. We'll see you next time.